Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to put this show to a roll. Yeah. We are ready to roll. So that's coming right along with us this fine Saturday morning. And let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Yeah. It does look a little cloudy and all that good stuff out there, but uh, for the most part right now, at least it's not snowing. I should have checked the uh, weather forecast to make sure it's uh, not supposed to be snowing anywhere, but uh, I guess I didn't do that, so uh, I guess we'll just find out when it's snowing, I suppose. But yeah, we stayed the night here at the uh, Petro here in Remington, Indiana. Now we're gonna get out of here. Hopefully. Yep. It's always a little bit of a challenge getting out of here because there's always four wheelers coming out of, I guess, out of the town up there. have to uh, keep an eye on them four wheelers well, looks like nobody coming right now so we're gonna make it I think so yep, nobody coming so we're good to go but that truck that just went out of this parking lot he goes into that parking lot now <laughs> I wonder why. Maybe he just wants to fill up over there, but he wanted to spend the night at the Petro. Or maybe last night when he come in, he couldn't find no parking in there. Maybe that's why. But he's going to go in there and get fuel, I think it looks like. Probably. Yeah, we stopped there early last night there. I just was tired and it didn't feel motivated to drive past Chicago yet, you know. In 700 feet, so take here the we are now. Left on by 65 North. I'm not really super motivated today either, but <laughs> we gotta go. If I would have been super motivated, I'd probably be past Chicago by now because I could have left a couple hours early. That's right. So, let's go down the road here and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. I know we'll be in Chicago here in about another hour. And hopefully by that time the traffic will be good. So thank you for joining me today. Let's have a self a fantastic weekend together. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, right in Chicago on 294. That's right. And it's been sort of drizzling here, light drizzle every once in a while, a little bit, you know. But nothing bad. Nothing bad. As long as I won't turn into snow, we'll be good to go, right? Or ice. Yep. But yeah, we are now in Chicago. We are also in the state of Illinois. We're no longer in Indiana. That's right. It's nice and quiet out here. Like I was saying earlier, I was kind of hoping that there wasn't going to be uh, a lot of traffic in this area, right? And it is very nice and peaceful over here. Nothing much to worry about. 
not a lot of vehicles on the road that's fantastic news that way you can sail right on through and we don't have to worry about anything that's right there's the odd vehicle coming on to the highway that's it that's why I'm traveling in the second right lane because uh, I'm having to stop on the brakes a few times here because people coming onto the road and they always want to get in front of you right so then I just take the second right lane and then let them come onto the right lane if they want but other than that we're just giving her we're going to go up to South Beloit, Illinois I'm going to fill the truck back up I haven't filled since I filled there last time on my way down right so uh, we're going to go back there and uh, Fill her right up again and we should be good to go. Yeah, that's at least what I think. Got a bit of a military base right here to the right. Got a bunch of military vehicles up there. So yeah. Say thanks to the military. We appreciate you guys' job. Keeping America safe. At least you guys do your best, whatever you guys have been ordered to do. That's right, they can only do what they're ordered to do. Yeah. Alright. So that's getting on down the road somewhere and uh, we'll be uh, making a pit stop like I said in South Beloit. So uh, maybe we'll see you over there. Or maybe you'll see me over there. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a special request that we just got from Chuck and Andy Show. Yeah, actually uh, Chuck uh, requested for me to do a special shout out to Patrick. He supposedly lives up here around this area. So we figured we would do the honor to give uh, Angie and Chuck the uh, honor to give uh, Patrick a special shout out. So there you go, Mr. Patrick. You are from around this area. Well, I come through here quite often on a regular basis. So uh, if you're out here on the road sometime, look out for my penner truck. You might see me. Just remember, I have a moose bumper with some big uh, round lights on him. And that's me. Yeah. So there you go. We'll continue yeah, on, on with the uh, to the left on our journey here and uh, we'll see where we'll end up. Here we are guys, we are just yeah, taking our exit up here to the uh, South Beloit truck stops up here. We got the Flying J there to the right where I normally would go. But today we are going to go here to the Road King here to the left. Yeah, I decided, you know what? Since they have a subway in here, and I don't really want to eat a big meal or anything like that, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go in here and uh, gonna go fuel up over here at the Road King, and then I'm going to uh, take me a shower, grab me a bite to eat. That should give me enough to where I have my half an hour off. And then I can continue on with my journey. We got three hours and 15 minutes worth of driving up to here. So that's perfect uh, time to go take our half an hour break, right? Yeah, that's right. So we gotta go up here. I haven't been in this truck stop in a long time. I've been here a couple of times, but I generally go over there to the Flying J, like I said. It, I don't know why. It just seems like that Flying J is better for me, or I don't know why, but <laughs> I just seem to always go there. I'm used, so used to uh, going there, I guess. I don't even really look at this truck stuff. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to go in here and uh, fuel up the truck and we'll go park somewhere and uh, do our, all our stuff. So uh, I guess we'll be right back then. Well guys, here we go. We have now entered into Wisconsin 
That's right. Basically, as soon as you leave South Beloit, you are in Wisconsin. Yes, we are now officially in Wisconsin. Filled up the truck, took a shower, had me a six inch Subway sandwich, a bottle of water. Now we're good to go again. Now we feel great, smell good. Don't know about looking good, but other than that, we're doing fantastic. Now we uh, are going to go see if the scale is going to be open up here in Wisconsin, but if not, we're just hammered down. I just looked it up there and it looks like we can make it up to uh, Suck Center, Minnesota again tonight. That's right. Very good possibility we'll make it up to there tonight. So let's put the hammer down and let's see how far we can get. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we're going to have good weather today. Should be. But you never know, it can change real fast. Well guys, we decided to make a little pit stop here just before Minneapolis. That's right. I think this is the last rest area before we hit Minneapolis. I think so. I think right across the border there is another rest area, but uh, not before, I don't think. There's a couple of truck stops, but other than that, we uh, have pretty much nothing left. And I just needed to use the restroom and take a little bit of a break from driving. Walk around the tractor trailer a little bit, check everything out, make sure everything's good. Which everything was good, so that was fantastic. So now we can just continue on rolling through here. Yeah. We only got 173 more miles to go. And then we'll be in uh, Suck Center, Minnesota. That means at 6.30, according to my GPS, we'll be there. That's right. 6.30 this afternoon. That'll be fairly early. So that means that, well, 6.30, so it'll be 5.30, 4.30 in the morning. I could get back on duty at quarter to five. I could be back on the road. Yeah, that would be nice. Get up there at five o'clock. So I could be home uh, right around lunchtime, I would say. Yes, sir, Bob. I should be home just on time to go play some volleyball. That would be fantastic. If I could do that, you know. But anyways, I figured I would give you a little update here while we are at it. I figured I hadn't shown you guys too much today, but... It's been pretty much cloudy all day long. Pretty much all day. But I guess that's all right too. As long as it's not snowing, right? Which it hasn't been doing. It uh, drills a lot a little bit earlier, but now it's dry roads and just gorgeous to go here in winter time at least. The snow is slowly starting to disappear. So before you know it, we'll see some green grass. That's right. But, in the meantime, we're going to put the hammer down and get through Minneapolis. Well, guys, we have finally, finally gotten sunshine. And uh, we are now officially in Minnesota. That's right. We already went through Minneapolis. For a matter of fact, we're almost at, uh, well, Clearwater, Minnesota is coming up here on the next exit. That's where the petrol truck stop is at. But we're not gonna be stopping there. We're gonna go all the way up to Sox Center, Minnesota. I could actually probably make it up to uh, Alexandria to the uh, pilot up there if I really wanted to, but uh, 
I think we'll go up to your Suck Center, Minnesota, and that will be it for us. We'll be there at uh, well, Rand McNally is saying right now at 18:25, which is 6:25 p.m. So yeah, we got exactly about one hour to go. Well, just shy of one hour, I guess. But yeah, right up here, that's where that petrol pass truck stop is here to the right. That's a nice truck stop. I like the I like stopping in there at that petrol there. You got a very nice restaurant in it too. It's not the traditional type of restaurant that the petrol's got. They got their own type of restaurant. They got a very nice steak in there. I love it. I think they got a 28 ounce Canadian steak they call it I think if memory serves me right I could never eat that whole thing completely nope unless maybe if I was really super hungry maybe I could finish it but that's a big uh, steak I mean a really thick steak and everything oh yeah but then right after that we got a rest area up here to the right I know Steve will probably know this area very well. Yeah. But we gotta continue on cruising. I wanna be home as soon as possible tomorrow. That's right. So let's get on down to Suck Center, Minnesota, and then uh, you'll see me over there probably. Unless something happens here before then, then maybe I'll show you that. But. Other than that, that's probably where we'll end up the show. Well, guys and gals, we are done for today. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're here at the uh, Suck Center uh, truck stop up here. And we're just going to go quickly finish our video for today and probably uh, put it all together for you guys. So that way when I get home, it's all ready to fire up there on uh, YouTube. So we can get it uploaded ASAP. And I did see another Penner truck over there too. So there, uh, I guess it's gonna be a Penner's night over here. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, just joking, just joking. But uh, yeah, I figured I uh, would close off my video for the day and uh, that way I can uh, have everything ready when I get home, you know? I can just click on each and every video and they can start uploading because I think I only got uh, tomorrow's and Monday's that is ready to go so uh, it's going to be a few videos that need to be uploaded right and uh, you, that way you guys can watch something <laughs> at least I hope you guys will watch something some of my videos anyways but uh, anyways that's about all I got today I hope you enjoyed my video hey if you wouldn't mind check out some stuff in my description box there i got all kinds of links down there and hey check out my store all that good stuff check out some of the apps that i have you can talk to me personally like on uh, zello you can talk to me and if you install it on your phone and all that good stuff so uh go ahead and do that and we'll be in touch give me your username and uh we can uh communicate or try and find me I go on Zella I go by uh, trucker Rudy community and you can find me right there and you can talk to me would love to have you there and uh, you can ask me questions or whatever you want to talk about it's uh, pretty much open to whatever but that's about it we'll catch you guys on the next one stick around for tomorrow we got some good video coming <laughs>